Hi Scorpio, what's up and welcome to your May reading. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of May. See what you need to look out for overall, what you can expect, what's coming towards you. We'll just kind of deal with this energy happening in this next month. If this reading is helpful or insightful, if you enjoy, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And we're going to get right into your reading. I'm going to be working with this new Oracle deck. I mean, I've had it for quite a few months. I've been trying to learn it in private. I've worked with it in a few private readings. Um, but I haven't actually used this on the channel. You're actually the first sign that I'm using this deck with. We're going to see, we're going to try, we're going we're gonna to see what comes out. I'm going to try my best to work with this. It's a new deck. Like, I don't know what 100%, okay? So I'm going to use my intuition. I might check the book. I might pause, kind of write some things down. We'll just, we'll just see, all right? I was kind of like feeling like I need a little change of like the energy, all right, for these May readings. I'm feeling like it's time for a change or a time for something a little bit new, a little bit different. So let's, let's see what comes out. All right, Scorpio, so this this is the archetype, wild unknown, wild unknown archetype. Um, I'll have it in the description box down below. It's kind of, as you can see, it's kind of hard to shuffle. I'm not used to this. They're round, they're circular. Um, really cool artwork. Let's see what came out. The bridge. So, let me hold this up straight. The bridge, Scorpio. There is a gap, and you're considering do i bridge this gap or do i let this gap just separate itself all right let me check the bottom i'm not gonna take many cards from this deck it's like the sustainer so you're wondering you're questioning if you should sustain something or let it be all right there's something that you're molding there's something that takes effort there's something that takes a lot of work a lot of consistency to smooth the edges as you can see this looks like a like a rock being molded being shaped being kind of played with maybe that's how you've been feeling scorpio i see that okay when the bridge comes out this is if you've been having like a yes or no question should I do this? Should I do not? Should I do not? Should I not do this? Oh, bro, I can't even speak. <laughs> um, the, the answer is yes. If you're thinking about extending or reaching out to someone or making the first move or making a gesture, your answer here is yes. But you need to do it in a way that sustains the situation. If it's a relationship, you need to do it in a way that's going to sustain the relationship. Or if this is about yourself. Like, what, do you, what can you do? that will help support and allow this to really cement and root itself when we think about a bridge like an actual fit oh my god it makes me think back to like that bridge that collapsed like what was it a couple weeks ago or like beginning of was that in march fuck i don't even know i like lost track of time but that you everybody's seen it right that bridge i can't even remember where it was but it collapsed and it was this whole thing and the structure there's something that needs more structure there's something that needs more support there's something that needs a little bit more solid sol, 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 solidness okay i can't find the words today okay mercury's gone direct but we're still in the post shadow so it's still fucking with me <laughs> so that's now the big question of can you sustain this can you make this last is it worth the effort is it worth the molding the shaping can this be molded is this malleable is the word that they're giving me all right can you bend it can you shape it or is it just like gonna fall into dust so are you open to receive are you open to receive someone might want to sustain something with you are you open to receiving? Are you open to the possibility? Are you open to bridging this gap? Is it time to maybe let this fall? This is a question you, you can ask yourself. Was what brings you more peace? Thinking about the situation, what brings you more peace? Building a bridge or building a wall? Does building a wall, a boundary, make you feel more comfortable, make you feel more in control, make you feel at ease? Or does bridging this gap, finding some sort of way to move past this, bring you more peace? What brings you more peace, okay? Um, we'll take a moment. I'm gonna check the I'm gonna check the book, see what other messages there are. 
I'm gonna write a few things down and I'll come back to y'all and we'll continue and we'll put, get into the tarot, okay? So give me a second as I do a little bit more digging. So Scorpio, basically kind of the gist that we were talking about, what I had written down basically, this is about like connecting two worlds, all right? There's the need for acceptance, there's the need, or well, it's, it's recommended to be open to saying yes, rather than shutting things down and being closed off and just immediately rejecting, saying no, fuck no, uh-uh, la 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 la, being closed off. Spirit is really wanting you to keep an open mind and allowing you to, well, heal something. There's something being healed. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. It's going to require honesty and communication and um what else did i write this is this is about strengthening something that's once been disconnected there has been some sort of disconnect if this is about a relationship perhaps there's been like separation or lack of communication or maybe maybe that mercury retrograde that we had in aries right aries mars you're ruled by mars as well as pluto but you're feeling those energies perhaps there there were some arguments or misunderstandings with other people and now in may it's giving the opportunity to rebuild and mend and heal things and it's not always fun it's not always easy it requires a lot of effort it requires like a lot of love and so this is about bringing peace to a situation this is about being able to move past whatever whatever destruction whatever whatever that kind of fell apart this is the opportunity in may may is giving you the opportunity to bridge some sort of gap okay this is bringing necessary change and um yeah that's basically all that i wrote down so <laughs> let's get into the tarot let's see what this is all about and um yeah let me know if you like these cards Hopefully, the more I use them, the more fluent I will become in these cards. But I just, you know, I felt the need, like, it's, it's time to bring some sort of new energy to these readings. So, hope you don't mind. Anyways, and if there's anything that you feel about those cards that you want to share, if you know this deck, if you have any messages from those cards, let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear your take on it. But even with the sustainer, there's these kind of like stars on the side and it kind of feels like there's a wish. Or you could have your wish. But it needs you need to like move with love or it's like handmade with love. You you come up you could be even like creating something with your hands, making something. Maybe you like you create like some sort of art or jewelry or like you build something with your hands. And then with the bridge, it's like the, this is giving like the creator and then the receiver, like giving and taking like, um, like a song, a singer and the listeners or like the audience or I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio in the month of May, 2024. We have the Page of Wands as your first card out with the Eight of Swords. This is where you want to make this offer or someone wants to make this offer to you. Somebody wants to make an offer but is scared of rejection, scared of being turned down, scared of this backfiring. Typically, the Page of Wands is an energy of optimism, of excitement, of joy. This is very lighthearted. There's good intentions that follow through with this person's offer all right whether it's you whether it's someone extending this offer to you but whoever this offer is being made from there's a fear of this being rejected or the fear of this not working out okay tell me more about the month of may death there's your energy scorpio all right so four of cups is also at the bottom so you know what there you might reject this or you might get rejected there could be something that's being rejected here but it's necessary it's that whole saying of rejections redirection and whatever's truly meant for you won't pass you by so if this isn't meant for you it wasn't for you there's something else that you're being leaded to led towards leaded <laughs> you're being led towards so we have the four of cups underneath death there are some changes that you might not see coming. You might not be able to prepare for everything um, or be 10 steps ahead like you normally are, Scorpio. 
this is really asking you to trust yourself trust your faith let's see underneath four of cups the world i feel like a chapter of your life where you have experienced a lot of hardship a lot of challenges a lot of rejection i feel like i mean you're gonna experience it in the future like everybody does it's, it's just part of life it is what it is but i feel like there's a significant chapter that's closing out for you where it won't be the same as it used to or like if you experience a lot of rejection 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 there's gonna be a door in may that opens up for you and if it wasn't for all those other rejections or those things that didn't work out, you wouldn't have landed on this opportunity. So it feels like an offer that's being made is going to change your life or an offer that you're making will change your life and someone else's. I'm seeing that there is a happy ending here. My, my eyes are super drawn to the sun in the corner. OK, so it really feels like you have a happy ending here. Oh, happy ending slash happy new beginning. Right. Because every ending is a new beginning. What might seem like the end is actually disguised as a new begin, or what, yeah, it's disguised as a new beginning, or a new beginning disguised as an ending. I got it backwards. All right, what's going on for Scorpio in May? The Chariot. We're just getting started. All right, where are you going? Seven of Wands at the bottom, Four of Cups. See, like, you feel the need to, like, be on guard or be on the lookout or protect yourself or defend yourself or defend your actions but you don't need to you don't need to all right i see that you're on the move on the oh look that seven wands trying to flip out again you're on the run where are you running off to some of you feel like you just want to run you just you don't know where you want to go you just want to run you just want to hit the road you might actually want to like go travel or go explore or like see some new things experience new new experiences you know new energy new life new people new environment new hobbies temperance you got a lot of major arcana coming out here i mean i kind of see you have an open mind you're going with the flow here you're listening to what feels right you're listening to what feels in harmony with you with the eight of wands at the bottom i see you're moving forwards really fast things are picking up for you in may like there's a lot of progression there's a lot of movement there's a lot taken off i see you getting out of your comfort zone queen of wands eight of wands i see like you're moving in this new direction but it brings you peace it brings you a lot of happiness six of wands a lot of success in your future something that you're something this bridge go back to this bridge something that you're sustaining something that you're building some sort of gap that is being filled or you know strengthened it's working in your favor and yeah it's like something that you once struggled with in the past is no longer an issue anymore the wheel of fortune because you've changed tides you've turned the page you moved in a new direction like you you've chosen differently for yourself we have judgment at the bottom of the deck this is a money card so i'm gonna take today okay we'll check the bottom but that that's it we'll clarify um you've i just see you are in this new period of your life where all th there will be will just be like success you're thriving you achieve you don't quit you're not gonna give up you might fall or take a few scratches or you might make some mistakes here and there but besides that like you're not gonna let that defeat you you're finding ways to sustain yourself you're finding ways to get over certain hurdles certain blockages that in the past you felt it was impossible to cross you felt like okay i can never get past this bridge i never get past this river like i'm just stuck here on one side i'm never gonna get to the other side you're finding a way to to move past some sort of block to get past some sort of like what <laughs> okay let's see judgment ace of cups the hierophant wow and then the four of pentacles I see that you've held yourself back in the past. You might kind of, there might be a little bit of a tendency to do that in May, but for the most part, I'm seeing you're keeping, you're like opening yourself up here to all your wishes, all your dreams and desires. We also have the star Aquarius energy in the world. We have Taurus as well. We're in Taurus season. Okay, Taurus season is going to be big for you. So I'm seeing that there will be life changing relationships, life changing commitments, life changing people 
in the month of may people that you have yet to meet people that are in your life currently where the connections will be developing and deepening on a stronger level certain connections that need more strengthening more support more trust more open and direct communication i'm seeing like just big 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 improvements in your relationships and your love life and you know holding on tightly honestly hierophant the four pentacles people that you will not want to let go of <laughs> that can become a little clingy watch out or vice versa people becoming very clingy and possessive over you so watch out for that watch out for that just saying just saying but this just feels like you're locked in and you ain't going you're not moving you you're once you're set on something that's it nothing will change your mind right once you have this idea this spark this feeling like you're, you're gonna do whatever it takes to sustain this right going back to what i was saying earlier i was like it feels like you know these little stars reminds me of the star card it reminds me of like this could be about a dream how do you sustain this dream how do you keep this momentum how do you keep this flow going without blocking the the flow of the river kind of like you know like a beaver dam how the beaver dam will just block the river from flowing and create stagnancy it's like you're not wanting to do that with this bridge you want this bridge to be on top of the water where the water can still flow underneath and you know without getting in the way of the flow of life so you're trying to sustain something so that it like is healthy for you and there, there could be positive progression but it doesn't have like a negative effect on the other things going on in your life or like I, I but I see you successful doing that whatever this is I see you are being successful sustaining this and sustaining this new this, these new habits the, in this new chapter like y'all this is nice good vibes let's take a look into some of these cards clarify death perhaps let's see How about death what's changing here because this is where you're making the adjustments, you're bringing in the necessary support, the necessary improvements to help progress in this direction or on this path or in this relationship or whatever, right? Talk about death for Scorpio in the month of May 2024. Talk about death. What kind of changes can Scorpio expect in May 2024? We have the Knight of Wands. With the Knight of Swords. Turn it the, oh, and the, the Knight of Pentacles. What in the hell? Got three knights out here. And then the Five of Cups reversed. Hierophant at the bottom. Going back to this Hierophant from over here. All right, we'll clarify that next. So there's there's big improvements when it comes to your mental health, your emotional health. I see you getting over, like, if you've been going through a hard time emotionally, or you've been just feeling very blue or heavy or lost or, you know, really negative, I see your mindset is switching. You're slowly moving through this, and your perspective is instead of focusing on what you lost, you're focusing on, okay, I still got these two cups. I'm like, I'm actually doing a lot better. These cups are all I need, right? And I see with the Knight of Pentacles, like, you are slowly finding your way back on your feet you've gone through a lot of endings you've gone through a lot of shifts that uh, earlier remember it was death and the four of cups right the the rejection you've gone through a lot of rejection you've gone through a lot of pain you've gone through a lot of heartache but i'm really seeing you bouncing back stronger and you're on a roll here knight of wands and knight of swords you are just like moving at a rapid speed like rapid fire you're just on the go you're on the move and hierophant ten of swords seven of wands you know again these endings that you went through in your recent past last month a couple months ago it was hell you went through a lot it taught you many important lessons you know better now was it painful was it difficult was it oh my god it broke you to the fucking bottom but you rose up you rise like the phoenix scorpio and now you're on the other side the worst is over and the best is yet to come like you got some good shit coming in in may you really do okay um let's take a look into the chariot tell me the chariot for scorpio where is scorpio going hangman reverse coming out you i mean you kind of have an open mind you're open to change 
you're open to moving in different like if things come up that strike your curiosity which i think that's what the yeah the bridge also mentioned that in the book like anything that you are slightly curious about go for it explore it check it out see what it's about give it some energy you know if it's something that you have love for give it energy try it out you might not be perfect at it right away but just like give it a chance right if you're curious about something it's your sign give it a chance so all right let's see your mindset could be changing or your beliefs about something might be changing or just the way that you you feel about okay nine of cups like your wish fulfillments your dreams your desires what you want in life could be definitely shifting in may something that you thought you wanted back then you know it might not resonate with you anymore you you know your desires are shifting and that's a good thing because as you're growing as you're tur changing and turning into a more evolved version of yourself of course your wants and your needs and your desires are going to change too that's just the part of the cycle so let's see what else about this chariot we have the tower reverse okay okay six of cups as well you might have some things come up about your past six of cups two of wands and the five of pentacles you'll have a decision to make um one path leads to growth one path leads to well, a cycle kind of repeating itself here. A bit of stagnancy, a bit of rejection. Like, taking... Okay, so there might be, like, something where you get rejected by, or, like, maybe maybe it doesn't go according to your plan, okay? But you have... you. There's two ways you can go about this, two of wands. You can either take it personal and be like, oh, my God, like, what's wrong with me? Am I the problem? Like, maybe, it, maybe there's something wrong with me in Five of Cups. Like, damn, like, what did I do wrong? And why don't they like me? Or what's about me that is not accepted like you know take it personal or you could be like you know what i trust that this wasn't meant for me and there's something else or like you know like it's a mindset thing right going back to the hangman it's a mindset thing and you know so nine of cups in the tower reversed i feel there's some surprises coming up in may that you may not necessarily see coming but with temperance as long as you keep an open mind and you just trust yourself trust the divine it's going to push you to the good stuff six of wands and the wheel of fortune is going to push you to all that you need all that you know you will actually really want so just you got to just have a lot of trust okay even though oh look at the candle it burnt out see i'm like you could be like oh my god what's wrong with me this candle burnt out oh my god what why did this happen oh my god what, am i a failure am i is it something i did oh, please come back i could you know grab this lighter it's empty nothing's gonna burn i could try and light it but oh my god it's not my uh, it's my fault like what's wrong with me <laughs> like no you're really okay you know what it's oh i just got wax on my hand this served its purpose guess what we got a new one we'll just light a new one we'll start again we'll start over again and this is gonna last long okay and we're not gonna take it personal because well it is what it is <laughs> i don't know but anyway scorpio i hope that may is a blessed month for you i'm just giving you good vibes good blessings your way positive energy to you lots of healing vibes strength good health lots of abundance lots of success good money good love all the good stuff to you scorpio all right all right there we go let me just move this back here okay all right but you, you get what i mean right <laughs> being a little silly about it but you know okay um wheel of fortune let's see how about the wheel of fortune for scorpio The sun's at the bottom. Tell the wheel of fortune for Scorpio. We have the moon. Yeah, the universe has some surprises for you. I ain't gonna lie. You've been expecting it, though. Look, the wheel of fortune came out again. You're, you've been... Ex so here's the thing. Like, you were expecting certain things to take place, and they will, but in, like, a way that still takes you by surprise. Like, in ways where you still don't see it coming. Like, you thought about it, you probably wrote it down, you probably dreamt about it, you probably talked about it with a friend or a family member, you talked about it with yourself, at least. Like, there are some changes here that you've been expecting, that you've been waiting for very patiently, but yet you are like, when is it coming? I don't know. There could be something about the new moon in Taurus that might be important. I don't have the date for that. I think it's around the 8th or the 9th or around then. Um, 
you know, a couple weeks from now. But I don't remember when. I honestly, I don't remember. Okay, but it doesn't matter. You can look it up on your own free time. You'll probably hear about it in a future reading if I talk about it. Um, but yeah, so um, there could be something as soon as the new moon in Taurus that shows you this thing that you've been expecting. But it's, it's in a way that like kind of takes you by surprise. Knight of Cups, it could be in love. We do have the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant over here, right? Which we are going to look into. Six of Wands. I see some success in your love life as long as you don't sabotage it. Five of Swords. As long as you don't screw yourself over here. And just, you gotta keep those sabotaging thoughts in check, all right? Because there's part of you that's like, oh, no, 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 no. Shut down. Close it off. Nope. But you gotta allow the good things to come in. You are deserving of good things. And let me look into this Ace of Cups and the Hierophant for you, Scorpio. I'm with this Ace of Cups and the Hierophant for Scorpio in the month of May 2024. What can you tell Scorpio about this Ace of Cups Hierophant? Ten of Cups! Ooh! I like it! Ace of Cups and the Hierophant for Scorpio. Nine of Swords. You're afraid. You're so scared because it feels so good. It feels so good and you're like, I don't know how to even process this. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Is this reality? Somebody pinch me. Somebody please pinch me. Okay, pinch. Here you go. Pinch. Um, you deserve this. Strength's at the bottom. Let's see. Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. Oh, look at this. So we have the three of swords reverse and the six of swords. So because it's so good, it triggers it triggers some things from your past. And that's the thing. If this is a new relationship or even our existing relationship, but it's being taken to a deeper level of commitment, it will be triggering. That's how you're going to heal. This is helping you heal. This love that you have coming in, this commitment, this new self-love as well, it's going to bring up some of your shadows. It's going to help you overcome those pains. It's going to help you work through these distortions, work through these illusions, work through these fears, these doubts, these insecurities, and these flaws. But it's to help you actually enjoy and appreciate and sustain, go back to the sustainer of these good things that you deserve. All right? So it's going to teach you a lot. And this is the page of wands from earlier. Right? Remember when we had, the, we had the Page of Wands and I think it was underneath, it was the Eight of Swords, right? Something so good, but you're so scared that it's going to do you wrong. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. This is what's going to take you to higher levels. You're going to elevate Eight of Cups as well, leaving behind the past, King of Pentacles. You're moving towards something that's stable, something that's secure, something that's abundant, something that will be long-lasting, this is towards a sustainable future is what I'm hearing. This is you creating the sustainable future, long-term happiness, long-term love, long-term support. This is good stuff for you, Scorpio. May is a beautiful month. That's where I'm going to leave it. I hope that you found this helpful and insightful. Let me know if you did in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below, Scorpio. I hope you have an amazing May. I will catch you in your next reading. Bye.